Hi, my name is Josiah and today Licht and I have teamed up to bring you guys my top tips and tricks for mixing audio in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to be covering topics such as how to keep your timeline organized, how to manage volume between music, sound effects, and dialogue, as well as just a few general tricks you can use to make your mix stand out from the rest. So let's go ahead and hop into Final Cut Pro so I can show you guys how to organize your timeline. All right, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro. I pulled up a timeline from a short film I was in a while back. In this scene, our three characters are playing a board game while listening to music. So it serves as a great example of sound effects, dialogue, and music all working together in a mix. And when you're editing something with this many different tracks, it can be really hard to see what is what. So Final Cut Pro is a great solution to this called Audio Rolls. And that will allow us to color code our entire timeline so we can keep organized and just see at a glance what clip is doing what. First off, I'm gonna assign a roll to my music. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click my music clip, then hit assign audio rolls and choose music. I'm going to do the same to our sound effects, but this time I'm actually going to select multiple clips at the same time. And with all of our sound effects selected, I'm going to go ahead and just right click any of them, then hit assign audio rolls and choose effects. And as you can see, it is assigned the cyan color to all of our effects. Now all of my dialogue is already assigned to the dialogue role because that's the default role, but often if I have different characters in a scene, I like to assign a different role to each voice. This way, if someone is talking too soft or too loud, I can very quickly find the clip I need to make adjustments. Now to create your own custom audio rows, you can go up to modify and then hit edit roles. This will bring up this window in which you can add audio rolls and name them whatever you'd like. To change the color of a roll, just hover over that roll, open the color wheel and select whatever new color you'd like. All right, with those extra rolls created and assigned, we can now see at a glance exactly which audio clip is doing what. Now that we have an organized timeline, it's important that we go about mixing it in an organized way. I do this by editing every single type of audio separately, meaning I mix my scene with only the dialogue playing, then only the sound effects, then only the music, and then I put them all together and balance them. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just select all of my dialogue, then hit option S to solo it. Now when I play through, all the visuals will be the same, but only the dialogue will be playing as far as audio goes. Now the steps from here are pretty self-explanatory. You just wanna play through the scene and make sure that everyone's audio is sitting around the same area. You shouldn't have one person being really quiet and this person really loud. You just wanna go through and sort of balance all that out. And of course, make sure that nothing is clipping. Once overall volume is taken care of, I'll start adjusting individual frequencies with Final Cut Pro's built-in EQ. I'm not gonna cover how to do this because Licked already has a very in-depth tutorial of how to enhance dialogue using EQ, and you can watch that by clicking right up here. Once I have a single clip sounding good, I'll go ahead and copy that over to all of the remaining dialogue clips, assuming they were recorded on the same microphone. To do that, go ahead and just copy the clip like normal, and then select all the rest of your clips, and type Command Shift V to paste attributes. Here you can choose what effects are going to be applied. I don't want to do any video effects, and I also want to make sure to uncheck this volume, because I've already mixed all the clips separately volume-wise. I just want to paste the channel EQ and compressor. Once you finish editing your dialogue, go ahead and hit option S again to reset the soloing, and then select all of your sound effects, hit option S to solo just the sound effects, and now you can follow that exact same process with your sound effects. Now our music in this scene is supposed to be coming from a stereo in the room, so I mix it in a very specific way to sort of emulate that effect, and you can hear that here. Now before I show you step by step how to create this exact effect, let me take a quick moment and talk to you about where I got such an awesome song. Licked is a service which aims to provide high quality music for creators to use in their videos. Licked makes it really easy to license chart music made by real musicians. They have a huge library of songs from all different types of genres, and your first song is free, so check them out at the link in the video description. Now to create this effect of the music sounding like it's coming from a stereo in the room, I use two effects which come built in to Final Cut Pro. First, I use channel EQ to remove the bass as well as the treble frequencies. But the real secret to making this sound like it's coming from a stereo is adding reverb. This is actually pretty easy in Final Cut Pro. We're just gonna use the AU matrix reverb effect and drag that right onto our clip. They have a lot of different presets to choose from. I personally just use the small room. It seemed to be the closest match to what that room sounded like on our microphones. All right, now that we have our dialogue, sound effects, and music all sounding exactly the way we want it, we still need to make sure we have the right balance of volume between them so that one isn't overpowering the other. Now, because we're working with so many different tracks here, I find it easiest to compile each type of sound into its own compound clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my dialogue, then hit Option G to create a new clip, and we can call this Dialogue. And I'll do the same for our sound sound effects and music. This way we can very quickly adjust the volume of all of our sound effects or dialogue or music just by adjusting the volume of the compound clip. Now the most important thing in a scene like this is the dialogue, so we're going to make sure that that is the loudest and turn down our sound effects and music. 
Now, when balancing like this, I recommend disabling everything but your dialogue first and then slowly add in each layer. By the way, to disable or re-enable a clip in Final Cut Pro, you can just select it and hit the V key for visibility. All right, so by listening to this, I can tell that our sound effects are too loud, so I'm gonna turn them down by about negative eight decibels. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in our music, and this is where it's really easy to mess things up. It can be tempting when you have a song that you really like just to have it just as loud as the dialogue so that it can be enjoyed. But you really need to resist this temptation because if your music is just as loud as your dialogue, it's going to be very distracting and the listener is gonna have a hard time focusing on either. So make sure your music is peaking at least six decibels below the peak of your dialogue. To check this, you just need to solo your dialogue and look at your audio meters to see where it is peaking. All right, as you can see here, my dialogue is peaking around negative six. So I wanna make sure that my music is peaking no louder than negative 12. As you can see here, my music is peaking just above negative 12, so I'm going to bring it down by a few decibels. And those are my tips and tricks for mixing audio in Final Cut Pro. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Lick Tutorials. They have a lot more content like this coming in the near future. And don't forget to download your free song from Licked.co by following the link in the video description. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.